We're just leaving Sunrise Accommodation, Sunrise Inn, and we're on the way to Fort Simpson. The skies are clear. Fort Simpson is 485 kilometers. The normal way is to go via high level, which is over a thousand kilometers, but I'm going on the Liard Highway, which is not usually used because it's it's gravel road and it's mountainous. Okay, we're on the way to Fort Simpson, 485 kilometers. The normal way is to go via high level, which is over a thousand kilometers. That's the main road, but this way is called the Liard Highway. It is uh, it's quite rough and supposed to be gravel and mountainous, so not many people use it. There's only one stop in between to get petrol, but I've got a full tank, so I should get all the way to Fort Simpson, um, where I'll stay the night and then, get, then go to Yellowknife. That's the road I took to view the Aurora Borealis last night. It's supposed to be level six, but uh, unfortunately Iceland copped the level six and we just got the tail end, which was quite uh, ordinary. So we'll have to try it tonight again. Okay, now we're leaving the main highway. Turn right, Highway 77, Lard Highway. This is the Liard Highway. Do you have anything I've written? There's not much written about Continue it. Continue 390 kilometers. Not Turn much left after 391 kilometers. There's not much written about it except all negative. It's all supposed to be full of potholes and gravel, dust, animals everywhere running across the road. That's why I think not many people use it. So, <laughs> and according to Google Maps, it's supposed to take 13 hours to do just under 500 kilometers. Well, can't be right. Anyway, this is an adventure tour, so. See if they're right or wrong. Looks like some road construction going on. Part of the road is closed. I'm wait for this guy to come through. It's like they're rebuilding the bridge. said don't go so that's about right. Oh I see it We're putting another lane on a whole new bridge. Oh, 
by 20 kilometers from Fort Simpson and I've stopped here for the ferry but there's no ferry that's because the river's frozen I just thought the same ferry oh okay sorry about that so luckily the road is enter the ferry Fort Simpson Lion River okay I'm empty I'm entering the ferry now or almost continue 15 kilometers luckily it's uh, frozen weird feeling driving across the river instead of using the ferry I don't know how long they can do this before it uh, gets to the point some stage is going to be too soft but the ferry won't be able to run so at some stage it's going to be closed until the whole thing melts Just arrived at Fort Nelson Maroda Motel. This is uh, the only town between Fort Nelson and Yellowknife, which means the rooms are really expensive. $176.15. You don't have much choice because there's about only six hotels here, so they can charge what they like. So, TV, choice of beds. Now this is a full kitchen which is really good. Microwave, so I'll be cooking tonight. And a roughy and a bath, very handy. So, coffee, so the first thing to do is get my bags in, have a coffee and sit down.